Stampers. This is Kathleen with KathleenStamps.com. <clears throat> today I wanted to bring you another card using the new Rooted in Nature stamp set and today I made a Christmas card. Who would have thought you could take leaves and make a poinsettia and have it turn into a great Christmas card. This was so fun to do. It's so quick. It's so easy. I just know you're going to love it. If you have any information that you would like about these products that I'm using, you can go and click on the links that are below the video. All the measurements for cutting the cardstock are um, on my coordinating blog post, and that link is also below this YouTube video. So here we go. So I'm going to first start with my piece of Whisper White, and well, let me show you what supplies I'm using. I'm going to be using my sentiments I got from the Night in Bethlehem stamp set because I like to send um, stamp, uh, Christmas cards with religious overtones or religious sentiments and so that's very important to me and it's a way to honor my faith and I think that that's really important. So I'm going to be using the sentiments out of this set. I'm also going to be using the new Rooted in Nature stamp set. You'll find this in the new cat annual catalog. Wonderful addition to our um, Lovely as a Tree stamp set, which has been in the catalog for a lifetime, but they go together very, very well. Um, this also can be purchased as a bundle, um, you purchasing the uh, Nature's Roots thinlets and framelits that come. Um, purchasing it by with a bundle is an awesome idea. One, you don't have to fussy cut things out. And two, um, you're able to get a 10% discount by purchasing them together. So let's get started. I'm going to be using Cherry Cobbler and I'm going to be using our new ink called Shaded Spruce. So if you're not familiar with our new stamp pads, this is our new configuration and they open just like a compact. So you just lift up and then push it in just like that. So we're going to start with our um, smaller leaf. The uh, leaf comes in two sizes, a small one and a larger one, and I'm going to be using the smaller leaf to st actually stamp my, po my poinsettia. If I could say that today, things would be great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with it going up so that I can make sure that I'm, you know, got room on my card that I don't end up too tight, too close to the top or too close to the bottom. So this just allows me to have a little bit of room. And then I'm just going to go around matching the tips. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, I would love it if you're watching on YouTube that you could give me a thumbs up and to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you're uh, vid visiting my blog and you're watching the video there, I'm very grateful that you've taken time to stop by my blog. And if you want to know whenever I post something new, you can go ahead and subscribe to my blog and that will let you know when I do a new blog post. Okay, so our poinsettia is completed. Now what we're going to do is stamp our leaves. So we're going to use the larger leaf to do this. And what I have done is I've made some masks. Um, I want it to look like the leaves are behind the poinsettia. So in order to do that, you have to mask off that area. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the mask on. And what you want to do so that you don't end up with a halo is you want to pull it back just a little bit from the surface or from the edge of the stamped image. Um, that just makes it stamp a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Get the kitty hair off of the stamp. Okay, there we go. So we'll ink this up. And here we have our masks. So you just want to, well, I guess I need to put a paper underneath there so that because it's going to stamp off of the page and I don't want to ink or stamp on my surface. So we'll just go ahead and 
we'll stamp our one leaf. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this mask off and I'm going to move it to the other position over here. And again, making sure that you pull back a little bit. And then I'm going to ink up the stamp again. And we'll stamp it right there. Okay. So now I want to do the same thing down on the other side. So I'm just going to have them come off of right here. And where you put the mask, if you, or where you put your leaves, is totally up to you. It's all just this personal preference of how many leaves you want where you want them to be located. But again, it's really important that you use the mask so that it gives the appearance that the leaves are behind the um, poinsettia. So we'll put one more right here. And we're almost done. Okay. There we go. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Close our stamp pads up. And now what we're going to do, oh, well, I guess I need that back again. I'm going to stamp my sentiment across the front. And I'm going to stamp that the blessed Christmas wishes. So we're just going to ink this up. And then we'll just stamp it right here on the card. Make sure the stamp is right side up. All right. Not too bad. Okie dokie. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my adhesive and I'm going to um, put it on my card. I hope you will take the time to go visit my blog at KathleenStamps.com and to subscribe to it. That would just be awesome. If you have a comment, oh, I'd look forward to them. I always like positive comments from my cards. Okay, we're just going to make sure this is glued down. Just like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere this to the front of my card. And you will notice that I, the cardstock in a minute. <laughs> I get this to stay in place. Okay. The cardstock that I use for my basic card is our Whisper White Thick. And I've chosen that because it helps the card to stand up a little better. And because it has just a little more substance weight to it. We'll put that down and I've already stamped the sentiment on the inside. So now the only thing that is left is Wink of Stella. Oh my gosh, can't do a card without Wink of Stella. We're going to just put this on the poinsettias. And you will see that because of the red, it will bleed a little bit. Um, I liked the look of the bleeding. And I definitely liked the extra bling that I got from the um, Wink of Stella. Because that's always really nice to have, a little extra bling. Let's see if I can get some more. This one's kind of dry a little bit. So we'll just 
squeeze it and put some more on. Now I wanted to come up with some berries, quote unquote berries, on the center of my poinsettia and I know that I wanted them to be yellow and so what I decided to do is I found um, my used my small pearls and all I did was color them with the new blends. They work great. There are alcohol markers and what's really nice about the blends is that you can color in um, like over a rhinestone or over a pearl and it does not rub off. So I'm just going to take my brush and I'm using the dark Daffodil Delight blend. Okay, so that's all there is to that. Let me find my pokey tool or my stylus is here. Okay, so then we'll just put three of these in the center. Just think it was just a really nice finishing touch for the card. And obviously they just don't feel like sticking at the moment. But I know they will. You just have to tell them who's boss and make them mind. Now that am I okay, here's my other pearl. How about that? Our card is all done. Such a fast Christmas card. And I just love if you you could do these in assembly line stamping and really get your Christmas cards out quick. So thank you so very much for watching my video. I hope you'll come back again. Have a great day. Bye.